up on the screens, I know we had a little bit of discussion about this yesterday. Uh, this is the landing page for the content of the uh, website that we launched uh, late last night on the President's busy first 100 days. Um, I know that uh, many of you have noted the robust pace that the President has kept during these first 100 days. Uh, so it's just a glimpse of some of the action that he's taken and some of the key priorities that he made to the American people. Despite the historic obstruction by Senate Democrats, he's worked with Congress to pass more legislation in his first 100 days than any president since Truman. And these bills deliver on some of his most significant promises to the American people. He signed an historic 13 Congressional Review Acts uh, to clear unnecessary regulations and keep government out of the way of the American people. He's extended the Veterans Choice Program, giving our nation's heroes the peace of mind they deserve, while this administration continues to work with Congress to enact comprehensive reform and modernization at the VA. He's refocused NASA's mission to dream big for American space exploration again and promoted programs dedicated to encouraging women to pursue careers in STEM fields. All told, he has signed 28 pieces of legislation. And it's not just through legislation that the President has made serious progress on his top priorities. The President promised to enforce our nation's borders. His Attorney General, Homeland Security, and their staffs have been working around the clock to fulfill that promise. He has directed a halt of federal funding to jurisdictions that do not comply with federal immigration laws. He has ordered the hiring of 10,000 immigration and customs enforcement officers and agents and 5,000 custom and border patrol agents. And it's working. Illegal alien border crossings have plummeted more than 61 percent since January of this year. The world is responding to the leadership that the President uh, is bringing under this, uh, bringing to Washington. In all, during his first 100 days, the President has made 68 calls with 38 different world leaders and hosted a total of 16 bilateral meetings. The President has rebuilt America's standing in the world, and these meetings and calls have led to real action. NATO Secretary General was here a few weeks ago, and he directly credited the President for his tough talk that was fair but tough as a candidate and now as a President for helping to put pressure on the counties and, excuse me, on the countries that are not contributing their fair share to the alliance. Just last week, Aya Haghazi finally came home after the President personally addressed her situation with President al-Sisi. And China continues to take positive steps both at the UN and in other arenas to help us combat the threat posed by North Korea. The President has also turned his words into action here at home. For too many years, the hardworking men and women of this country were poorly served and with a government that wasn't working for them but itself in special interests. As the President said during his inaugural speech, those forgotten men and women are not going to be forgotten by a Trump administration. From the moment he took office, the President has been taking action and putting America back to work by putting the, people's gov the people back into the government, unleashing the American economy by slashing overly burdensome and un unnecessary federal regulations, welcoming union representatives, top business leaders, and small business owners into the White House to personally hear directly from them about the policies that prevent them from creating and maintaining well-paying jobs. He's reinvigorating our domestic energy sector, reviving private infrastructure investment that helps us become more energy independent. And today, he's signing an executive order setting up a task force that will produce a 180-day review of the regulations, policy, and legislation that unnecessarily hinders economic growth in the agriculture sector. That task force will be led by our newly sworn in Secretary of Agriculture, former Governor Sonny Perdue. Secretary Perdue, who was sworn in earlier this morning, along with many other cabinet members, will be traveling outside Washington this entire week to share these tremendous achievements with the American people. Uh, Small Business Administrator Linda McMahon is in Orlando for multiple events, including a roundtable with Hispanic small business owners. Tomorrow, Secretary Carson will be in Columbus, Ohio, for the fourth stop of his listening tour, where he'll speak to the Ohio Housing Council and meet with local leaders and residents of public housing developments. And Secretary Purdue is getting right to work, traveling to Kansas City, Missouri, Thursday and Friday, uh, to visit agricultural facilities and meet with Governor Greitens. Uh, the President and his extraordinary qualified cabinet have made incredible progress in just these first 100 days. But this is just the beginning. We look forward to even more prosperity as consumer and CEO confidence continues to rise in the wake of these pro-growth policies. An even safer world from destroying ISIS and in other forms of radical Islamic terrorism that threaten our entire globe to keeping our smallest communities safe for American families. And a government that serves the people, not the special interests or political, uh, personal political alliances. Finally.